Welcome to Focus Washington. I'm Chuck Conconi. My guest today, again, is Ron Fauché, who's the head of the Claris Research Group. Ron, it's great to have you here. Thank, Thank you, Chuck. Well, I'm glad you're here. Well, we've talked from time to time about politics. Why every, You have on a, a daily report on the statistics of this presidential campaign, and it almost never is more than a point or two points between the two candidates. Why is that? Because it's really a close race, and um, and really has President Obama been more than a, a couple of points over Romney in recent weeks, and really has Romney been a couple of points over Obama in recent weeks. In fact, it's it's about as close to a tie uh, in terms of national polling as a race can be. Now, Romney did not get much of a bump out of his his convention. Why is that? Well, he doesn't seem to have gotten the big vote bump, which, of course, you know, when you're running for office, that's what you want. He does seem to have improved his personal favorabilities uh, considerably. And, uh, and a lot of, of, of what they did in the convention was geared to do that, to sort of soften his image and, and make him more likable and, and bring out his personal side and his family side. And that seems to have been somewhat of a success. So that worked. I mean, I saw a story in the paper. It says uh, a record high 87% of Republicans now have positive views of Romney. Notably, favorable impressions jumped 20% among GOP women. So that doesn't surprise you. And so the convention was a success for them. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a success in terms of, of presenting Mitt Romney the man. And, and the family man, and the husband, and, and the civic leader. Uh, but, it, but it really hasn't converted to votes yet. But the success then, is it attributable to his wife? That she did such a good speech pointing out that he's a human person like all the rest of us? Well, I think it, uh, it, it was certainly part of it. Uh, I think she did a good job, just as Michelle Obama did a good job. Uh, and you know, it's interesting, but even though Barack Obama and Mitt Romney are two very different people, uh, they're both somewhat reserved on talking about themselves and, and personal things about themselves. And, uh, and in both cases, they really needed somebody to come in and do it for them. And in both cases, uh, they were lucky to have wives who were so effective and so appealing to the, to the mass public that they could do it better than the candidates could. Now, when you look at both conventions, uh, the Democrats seem to have put together a really sterling interesting group of speakers as compared to the Republicans. I mean, did you get that feeling that there was more energy, more excitement at the Democratic convention than at the Republican? Yeah, I think the Democratic convention opening day opened with a, with a lot more energy and enthusiasm, and it looked like people were having more fun than the Republican convention. I thought the Republican convention was off to a slow start. Part of it was due to the fact that you had the hurricane so they had to shuffle the schedule at the last minute, and they didn't start on Monday the way they had planned to. They they moved everything to to Tuesday. So uh, so it was a you know uh, a logistical problem that they had to deal with. But uh, but I do think the Democrats got a better start than the Republicans. They seem to have a very strong bench of people up and coming. Well, there were some very impressive uh, speakers the first night. Uh, the yeah, on, on the Democratic side, uh, uh, I think most people uniformly gave Governor Deval Patrick of of Massachusetts an A plus for the speech he made. Uh, most it's people thought speech. that Julian uh, Castro, uh, who gave the uh, the keynote speech, the mayor of San Antonio, gave an excellent speech. Uh, and, and and of course, those are two uh, new well, faces. Never, yeah. But 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 former Governor Strickland of Ohio, who was actually defeated for re-election uh, gave just an outstanding speech as well. So, uh, so they had strong speakers there, and of course Michelle Obama was an effective speaker. Yeah, I was surprised by Strickland. I had never heard him speak before. Now, the other thing that we're not talking about because the presidential races take so much attention is that, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is going, is the uh, congressional races. Mm -hmm. How do they look? Well, as it stands now, I think the, the Democrats have a chance to pick up some House seats. Uh, and, uh, but, but I think their ability to, to capture control of the House is still uh, a long shot. Now, and I would handicap the Republicans as favored to maintain control of the House, even though they might do it on a lesser margin. Uh, in terms of the Senate, I think the Senate majority is still in play. Uh, there's a lot of Democratic Senate seats that are, that are are vulnerable right now. 
and even though the Missouri situation uh, may have made it more difficult for the sure. Republicans to get their majority, uh, I don't think that it's been fatal to the Republicans so far to get their majority. So there's a chance the Democrats will not hold on to the Senate. Yeah, I, I think there certainly is a chance. And in some of the races to watch, you know, everybody knew that Missouri and Montana and Nebraska and North Dakota and Virginia and Massachusetts would be tough, close races. But I think uh, uh, people are getting increasingly interested in Florida, where you have a Democratic incumbent who's in trouble, uh, in Michigan, where you have a Democratic incumbent who, who is potentially vulnerable, and the same thing in, in Ohio. We gotta, we've got to cut short. One last quick answer. Sure. And how would you predict the presidential race will come out? Well, I, I usually follow the polls, and the polls are telling me right now that it's tied. So, uh, so I think we need to get this Democratic convention behind us, see where things are. But uh, as it stands now, uh, it looks like Obama still has the best chance at holding an electoral vote majority, although it's very, very much we'll in play. We'll see how that comes very out. Very much in play. Thank you, Thank Ron Fauché, for being here. I'm Chuck Conconi, and this has been Focus Washington.